Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today's video is a super exciting collab with my beautiful soul sister, Anki. Um, we have a very, very loud motorbike, motorbike past. How rude. Um, but yes, so we decided to collab with the new Lethal Cosmetics 1UP palette. Guys, this palette is just ah 10 out of 10 packaging color story the lot so we decided we we're going to do two looks and originally it was going to be a case of we chose the colors for each other but when anki showed me the colors that she had chosen for me i was like oh i would really love to see anki use those so i was like please would you mind doing the same and she was like yeah sure we'll do that so for the first look um we'll be using the same shades as each other and then for the second look we'll be using whichever shades we want to use anki is just such a true artist she does the most beautiful looks i will pop pictures up just so you can see for yourselves just how amazingly amazingly talented that she is and if you're not subscribed already you really should be if you love colorful makeup and you love to see true artistry then head on over to Anki's channel she's just such a wonderful person along with being such an amazing artist I adore her and yeah guys if you don't know who she is please go check her out I'm gonna stop with my gushing over how wonderful Anki is for now because I'm pretty sure I mention it a few times throughout the video but Anki, thank you so much for clubbing with me. I'm super excited to see your your two looks. And guys, yeah, if you would like to see how I created this look and one other look and just hear my ramblings, then just keep on watching. Okay, guys, so my eyes are primed with the ABH High Primer. And this first look, um, I think originally we were going to choose colours for each of us for the other um but when Anki showed me the ones she'd chosen for me I yeah I was like please can you do those because I would have loved it would have because I would love to see how our looks differ etc so I will pop a picture up on the screen here that shows you the color option color options the color story this first look and yeah both of us will be doing the same so let's get started and I'm first going to go into combo and oh, this is so exciting I love collabing with Enki and like a lot of the time we do um, collabs with build your own palettes and um, I mean that is so much fun but I I love any collab with Anki she's just one of my favorite people ever I love her so much Um, she knows this and guys if you don't know who Anki is then you must have been living under a rock <laughs> because she's amazing the looks she does are just phenomenal absolutely phenomenal and she does the most amazing wings in all different colors these shadows are just i love them i do love lethal cosmetic shadows i've got a fair few of the singles probably not as many as enki has her collection is just beyond beautiful it is absolutely amazing I would love to just sit and go through all of her singles and swatch every single one of them and oh that would be amazing so i haven't had much of a think about what i was going to do with this color story i'm just gonna i found recently when i just go with it it seems to work out a lot better so that's what we're doing today we are just going with it okay so next i'm going to go into joystick um oh, 
these shades are beautiful absolutely beautiful and I'm going to place that I am being a bit careful with fallout because for some reason I decided I wanted to do my base first today so I do need to be a little bit careful with the place the placement so as not to get fallout I know what I mean guys I hope you do <laughs> Yeah, as soon as I saw the, the shades that she'd picked out, it was just a, for me, a no-brainer doing the same, the same look, not the same look, using the same colour story. I cannot wait to see how, how our looks differ, because although we have like a lot of same kind of taste in colour stories and occasionally I've managed to uh, to do an inspired by Anki look but oh Anki just does the most amazing artwork on her eyes I'm gonna go with the artwork because to me that's that's what it is it's just pure art This palette is just beautiful and you don't really realise just how beautiful it is to use it. The shimmers, well, they're just beautiful. There are no other words. Fantastic, maybe? Amazing. Beautiful. Um... Yeah, I am definitely interested to see placement wise how similar or different our looks are. So I'm just going to kind of drag the top of this out a little bit, trying to keep that shape, kind of following the shape of my brow. Okay, and then I'm going to go into Power Up, the dark green, and hope that this is going to work. I'm trying to not do the obvious kind of two greens together, pink and purple together. I just want to try out something different. I'm taking it right on the outer part of my leather being careful with the fallout and then I'm just gonna bring that out up to meet up with the purple there this is such a beautiful color I do love my greens and that was more for anyone anyone new because everybody that's not new to my channel already knows that greens are my favorite and i'm just i love love this color story i mean the whole the whole thing Now they're not going to kind of blend together particularly well but I don't mind if it goes a little bit muddy in there because the outer edge here is more the grunge. The grunge? <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about half the time. So yeah, I'm just going to don't we wiggle them together? Make sure that's flicked out. I'm loving this. I 
I don't think actually the blend between these is bad at all. Okay, so just sticking with that power up, I'm going to take that right against the lash line just to connect it up to the upper lid. I'm actually kind of trying a new shape of something that yeah i'm i'm trying to uh to broaden broaden my horizons with makeup i'm just trying some new things um you know i've been doing it a lot with base products as well just because my skin has changed has changed a lot in the last year to two years I used to be like super super oily like super oily um, but now I'm mostly normal to dry um, I do get a little bit oily in my t-zone um, but yeah nothing nothing at all like it used to be okay then I'm going to go into 8-bit the lighter green And I'm going to use that just along just the edge just to blend this out a little bit. I'm going to take it up just a bit to kind of make it a bit co get a bit more cohesive. Oh, this is nice. Okay. Yeah, thank you. This choice of colours color combo just perfect you are a master of the colorful looks okay now into the shimmers so i'm first going to go into high score i love these shades so much i am going to spray my brush because um I don't want to fall out because I've done my face um just stating the obvious there clearly and I just want to keep this just out out here and the shimmers are just stunning absolutely stunning Okay, and then I'm next going into bonus. This is such an exciting combination of colours. Um, again, I'm going to spray my brush and then I'm going to pop this across the rest of, rest of my lid when I've left it open. This shade is like magical. You can see the green shift in it, and it's like a purpley pink to green. Oh, it is magical. This is one palette where I cannot choose just one favorite shade. And look how special this is. And then I'm just going to tap it over the join there. Loving how it's looking. Just dipping back into the green matte power up, the dark green matte. And I'm just going to just blend the shimmer and matte together a bit better there. Beautiful. 
Okay, and now we are on to the last shade to use, which is Split Screen, the beautiful yellow shimmer. And again, I'm going to be spraying my brush. And this is going to go up the inner corner and also down onto the front of the lower lash line there. And up and into into the other shadows a bit. And then I'm just going to pop just a little bit of that under my brow. See up there it's really showing the green tint in it. Okay guys, so oh my god, I'm loving how this is looking. So I'm going to nip off, finish my face, and I'll come back to show you finished look number one. So if you would like to see that, then don't go anywhere. Okay guys, so I am back with finished look number one. Let me know what you think of it in the comments section below. Um, I'll just let you know a couple of bits I popped on my face. Um, the little pearls I got from Shein. Um, my mascara is the Elf Keep Your Curl Mascara. I love it. My lashes are from She Glam. They're in this pack. I think they were Cat Eye. What they were called. Something like that. I love them. Um, I went in with one of the Yvette Beauty Water Activated Liners. This one here and it goes oh there you go purple to blue um i think you can see the shift you should be able to see the shift really well on camera um but yeah i use that i did receive that in pr but i love it um otherwise i wouldn't be using it um in my waterline i've got one of the made by mitchell all smudge no budge liners and this one is in the shade charisma for blush, I went in with the Colourpop Super Shock Cheek Pearlized in the shade Brute Flute. This one here. I'm really enjoying the, these. I cannot for the life of me get the Super Shock Shadows to work for me. But the Super Shock Cheeks really do. I love them. The highlighter I have on um, will not come as a surprise to many of you. It's from my Unearthly Cosmetics Low Light Palette. Um, mine says Alien Cosmetics, but obviously they've rebranded a new name. And it is this shade here, Extraterrestrial. Oh my god, mine looks beat up. Um, I, I've got a dip in Extraterrestrial. Um, I love it. These highlighters, guys. If you like a blinding highlighter with real, oh, just beautiful, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Absolutely stunning. And then finally for my lips, it is one of the Lime Crime Velveteens. Uh, I was going to say matte, but mm, metallic. Um, this one is in the shade, I think that says Vibe, if my memory serves me correctly but I don't have my glasses on so I'm not 100% sure I think it's called Vibe um but I thought I thought it would go really well with with the eye look and like pearls etc let me know what you guys think I am so excited to see Anki's first look using the same shades um I wonder if they'll be similar we shall see um but yes, guys, that's everything else I popped on. Everything will be listed in the description box below. And now I will hand you on over to look number two. So if you would like to see that, then don't go anywhere. Okay, guys, so my eyes are primed with the ABH Eye Primer. And I'm first going to go into Hit Point, the Blue Mattes. Um, oh... I'm loving playing with this some more. Let me move in a bit better. There we go. Um, 
this is so much fun. I do I do love to use palettes multiple times. Oh, this is beautiful. I am being careful not to get fallout just purely because I've done my base. I'm so looking forward to seeing what Anki has done. Like with the look number one, obviously we used the same shades and then this look it's kind of doing what what we want to do and I'm I'm super excited to see what it is that Anki does. Um, cause guys, if you don't know who she is, she's amazing. And I'm probably going to say, oh, crikey. I'm probably going to say that multiple times throughout this video because I absolutely adore her. Her makeup is just wow. Okay, I think then I'm going to go into Power Up, the deep, deep, deep green mattes. Can't talk. Can't talk. I'm going to bring that in a little bit into the crease from the blue and I do want to go kind of up and around the blue with this. This colour story, like this palette, every single shade I am just like wow. This is my my kind of colour story. And the shadows just perform, perform so beautifully. Oh, just amazing. And I'm just going to take that around the edge of the blue slightly. And see this, where they're about the same depth. There's not anything kind of big in between. Any kind of big difference between the shades. Um, so you would have to look to see. I do love the gradient that this is giving. It's looking so stunning. Okay, I think I'm next going to go into insert coin just to blend out the edges and add a little something else. I'm using more of a, a wider brush just to disperse more, kind of not pack it on. I know what I mean. Um, I just think this will add that really nice kind of halo, halo effect. Yeah, this is, this is so pretty. The one good thing about doing your base first is it does, the eye look does look, look better than if you haven't, I, I don't know if I'm explaining that right, but hopefully, hopefully you'll catch what I mean there. That is so pretty. So pretty. Okay, so going in with the shimmers, I will be spraying my brush. Um, I'm first going to go into Avatar. And then that is going to go over here, just across a part of part of the lid. Oh, yeah, these these shades are stunning. Guys, if this is a palette that you are on the fence about picking up I personally would say if you love the colour story and you love the formula from Lethal Cosmetics then yeah I don't think for a second that you would be disappointed um, 
Okay, and then for the rest of my lid, I'm going to go into Final Boss. Again, I'm going to spray my brush. I always pick the pigment up on the brush before I spray. Um, oh, check this out. This shade is magical. Look at that. magical shade it's got such a beautiful shift you've got the green got the, the blue almost purpley it looks amazing stunning i hope the shift shows up on camera I'm loving this and I'm just going to pop back into the dark green power up just going to smudge that between between the shimmer and the matte I think I'm just going to dip into 8-bit And I'm just going to use that to bridge the gap, I think. That's better. Okay, so onto the lower lash line. I think I'm first going to go into Hit Point, the deep blue. And I'm going to take that up against, up against the lower lash line, the outer edge, connecting up to the the upper lid and then I'm going to go into insert coin I'll take that all the way all the way in This shade is just absolutely stunning. So I'm kind of joining that up to the top. The only difference on the lower lash line is we don't have the green in between the two. But I think we're going to be alright for, right for this. I think so. I'm loving how it's looking. I couldn't resist but go more kind of green blue where the shades in this pack are just absolutely stunning I think my first look I did when I did the first impressions I used all of the shades in the look and it was so much fun but then the shimmers in here are the shifty ones are just wow but then the even the metallic ones they're just all absolutely stunning I'm wondering what Anki's going to be doing um, with her second look where she's doing what she wants to do okay so for the inner part of the lower lash line. Oh, am I going to? Now I'm going to go into final boss. Um, I'm going to stick with my original plan. Well, that I just decided halfway through. I am going to spray that. Wow. I'm a proper pro, can't you tell? I'm not. I'm joking. These shades are just something else. Okay. 
So for my inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm going to use Split Screen, the yellow shimmer. And I'm going to spray that. This is so pretty. Seriously, guys, I think this this has to be my favourite yellow shimmer because it is it just looks so beautiful on the eyes. It's oh, like magical. I love it. And then I'm going to pop some of that up and under my brow. Apologies if you can hear the traffic my window is closed but it's raining it's raining quite a lot so the cars are making a lot more noise on the roads with all the splashing okay yep i am loving this so i am going to nip off finish my face and then i will come back to show you finished look number two and we'll have a quick chat, wrap things up. So if you'd like to see that, then don't go anywhere. Okay guys, so I am back with finished look number two. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. I'll quickly let you know a few of the bits that I've popped on my face. Then we'll have a quick chat. So the blush I went in with is the Afrique blush by Juvia's in the shade Serafina. Um, this is what she looks like, absolutely stunning, and um, yeah, I love it. Um, the highlighter is from Makeup by Lisa. That was a fire engine, apologies. Um, it's from Makeup by Lisa. It's in the shade Strobe. Um, yeah, seeing it in the pan doesn't do it any justice, but it leaves this absolutely stunning glow, and you can build it up to super blinding. Love it. Um, eyes so for my wing i mixed some of the super freak pigment from peaches and cream with the duraline um i think it went really well with the look i was just yeah i love it um and i'm having so much fun playing with duraline so much fun but yes thank you eva for that um, the mascara is the Elf Keep Your Curl Mascara. The lashes are from Shein. Um, they're quite a pack of seven. I think they're called Cat Eye lashes. Something like that. They were super cheap. Um, but I think they're beautiful. I love them. And I'm all for a bargain if I can get one. Um, in my waterline is the Made by Mitchell All Smudge No Budge liner in the shade charisma um oh i've unintentionally used two products with the same names as two of our snakes how bizarre we have a seraphina and we have a charisma okay well that was subconscious i subconsciously did that i'm sure um i don't know it's just a fluke but anyways, um, on my lips I have the Eboni Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Frenchie. I love this, it's beautiful. Um, yeah, it's that real gorgeous mustard tone that I love. Um, but yeah, so that is it for what else I've popped on my face. Um, this has been so much fun. As always, I love collabing with Anki. Um, it's just always so much fun. I love our Build Your Build your own palette collabs. They are always a blast. Um, and it's so much fun to do a collab with a palette, especially especially one from Lethal Cosmetics because it was actually Anki that really got me into Lethal Cosmetics shadows. So yeah, and I love, I love the packaging. This is my youth. I love it. And the color story is just, wow. 
amazing and yeah looking that looking at them in the pan does not do them justice at all so Anki thank you so so much for collabing with me again it was wonderful as always I love you to pieces you know this I hope you know this um but guys if any of you watching don't know who Anki is then you really need to head on over to her channel um subscribe like comment all of that goodness she does the most beautiful looks is like true art um she is a colourful queen and oh guys her singles collection oh, guys seriously she has the best singles collection ever so yes guys if you have liked this video please do give it a like if you are new um, and not subscribed already or if you're over here from Anki's channel thank you so much for watching I really hope you'll stick around, subscribe, um, and join my beautiful chameleon family because it's ever growing and just the best place to be. I know I'm biased. I am biased. But yes. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye. Thank you.